台湾 ICDF 教你说华语。Taiwan ICDF is a learning series of Mandarin Chinese language. It is aimed for beginners worldwide who never learned the language before. All instruction will be in English. Through the videos in order, you will be able to learn includes pronunciation, tones, rules, and then into different levels of grammars gradually. It is fun, easy, and will save you a lot of time. It is systematically and comprehensively for basic Mandarin Chinese learners. Most important, it is practical that can be used in daily life. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. 拼音 Mandarin is not a phonetic language, unlike English. Many Mandarin learners learn pinyin at the very first beginning when they learn Mandarin words. Pinyin is the most widely used system of writing Mandarin Chinese that uses the Latin alphabet. It is a tool to help you learn the accurate pronunciation of Mandarin words. In the previous unit, we have talked about the initials. Most initials usually combine with the finals. However, z, ch, sh, r, z, c, s. You keep i when you use them individually. For example, z, ch, sh, r, z, c, s. And now it's the finals. You could use most of them individually and also combine them with the initials. As you can see, there are two forms of pinyin for some finals. When using them individually, we use the former ones, and when combining with the initials, we use the latter ones. Let's do some practices now. Combine the initials with the finals. If you would like, you could pause this video first, and we will check the answers together later. When initials with e, o, u, we will write in the latter form too. You might have noticed that u could transform into u, or u with two dots above. The u with two dots above is for clarifying from u, like n and l. Both could combine with u and u, so that we won't confuse the pronunciation because of adding the two dots above. We don't need to add the two dots above u when j, c, x with u. That's because you will never see the combination of j, c, x with u in Mandarin. We still know we should pronounce u instead of u, even we don't add the two dots. Let's do some practices now. Initials with e, u, u. If you would like, you could pause this video first. We will check the answers together later. In the previous units, we have talked about intonations. The tone marks present to you how the pitches should sound. There is an important rule in where do you place the tone marks. Remember this rule: A, O, E, I, U. It is the order which tells you always place the tone marks on A, then O, and then E. When I and U are together, you see which one is the latter one and add the tone mark on it. Here are some practices. There are pinyin and tone marks in the brackets. Remember the order: A, O, E, I, U. If you would like, you could pause this video first, and we will check the answers together later. Let's see the answers now. 我 
，你，他，难，去，好，天，海，未，火，牛，六，会，鬼，快。When you would like to add toe marks on I, you need to remove the dot above I first. For instance, 笔会您顶立吃 Capitalize the first letter of proper nouns such as the names of people, places, and organization. When we write names in Pinyin. Remember, capitalize the first letter of last name and first name. When you write a sentence, capitalize the letter at the beginning of the sentence. But don't forget the previous rules we have learned. For instance, there are names in these two sentences, and that's why you see several capitalized letters here.